Welcome to another episode of Recording Immersive Sound using 3D Mic Pro. This is Shomo Mitra. Often less is more and this is especially true when we are filming alone in a dynamic environment. So what you need is a very lightweight rig with very little adjustment and control. Using camera rig may be overkill because they have many linkage, many joints to fine tune and the heft and bulk of it restricts our movement. So what I have done, uh, I just cut a piece of aluminum flat, it comes from an aluminum ruler. I bore two holes and then spray painted it black and that's all. I use this to construct my run and gun rig and I will share you how I do it and what are the things uh, you may require to do so. Here are the components of the run and gun setup. A digital recorder, a horseshoe ball socket mount which uh, you will need to mount the 3D Mic Pro into your DSLR horseshoe, an aluminum bracket, two butterfly screws, a uh, quarter inch 20 pitch which will fit into the tripod holes, a stereo Y splitter cable, a stereo attenuator cable, attenuator phono cable. This you will find in your 3D micro box. A normal stereo phono cable, this is also provided into 3D micro box. And this is my in ear earphone. I tend to use this when I have to travel light. The in ear earphones virtually blocks any external sound. If uh, you are in a high ambient noise situation, this will prevent the outside noise uh, to be heard over your monitoring sound. And of course, here is your 3D Mic Pro and your DSLR. So let me put this rig together. Now it's time to mount my digital recorder. So once it is mounted, this is basically the run and gun setup. The DSLR and the recorder is placed side by side and this gives me a lot of leverage to hold it very steady. What I do, I rest the recorder along with the bracket on my arm and cradle the lens with my palm. In this setup, my right hand is free. I can use various controls and with my left hand, my thumb and uh, index finger, I can even um, control the focusing or zooming. Now let me wire this whole thing together. Oh, by the way, I also have to mount the 3D mic on the top of it the top of the DSLR and this I will do with this ball mount let me start wiring it up I'm using the stereo phono cable to connect with my 3D micro output to the microphone input of my digital recorder. In this case, it is located at the bottom of the recorder. Next, I will connect my camera's microphone input to the headphone output of the recorder. And this time, I'll be using the stereo attenuator cable which comes along with 3D Micro. And if I want to monitor the sound which I am recording and which I always suggest strongly, always monitor the sound while you are recording, then you actually have to use the Y splitter and connect that inuters cable in one of these uh, output and connect your headphone to the other output of the Y splitter. And this is only necessary if your recorder doesn't have uh, a line output and a headphone output which unfortunately Zoom doesn't provide, but the other recorders like Sony PCM D50, it has two distinct output. One is line output and one is headphone output. In that case, you connect this attenuator cable with the line output of the recorder and connect your headphone with the 
headphone output and you don't need a voice splitter. Now it is all wired up, you turn on the 3D Mic Pro, set the recording level in the recorder and also set the recording level in your camera and you can start uh, recording your video with immersive sound. This is what the final setup will look like. It's very light, very simple, allows me to move around freely, you can run with it. It's very well balanced, I can hold it with my one arm barely adds any weight because all uh, the only additional thing is this aluminum flat oh one question you may have why i have used this studio cable to connect my uh, zoom h4n as it has xlr connector and 3d micro also has an xlr output the reason behind in this particular application the cable length from the zoom uh, from my 3d mic to the zoom that means the audio recorder is very short so there is barely no possibility of picking up any electromagnetic interference like line hum. So XLR doesn't add any extra fidelity in the sound quality. Studio cable is so much easier to manage and it doesn't sacrifice on the audio quality. So I hope uh, you enjoy this tutorial and it may come handy while you are shooting your next adventure with 3D mic immersive sound.